Welcome to Urban Terrain by Cult Sport. Today, we will learn how to make the most of your gears and optimize your cycling experience. Understanding your gear numbers and using them correctly can greatly enhance your ride. Let's get started. Step 1. Know your numbers. On the handlebar of your 21-speed bicycle, you will find a front gear shifter on the left side of the handlebar with numbers 1, 2 and 3. And on the right side, you have the rear gear shifter with the numbers 1 through 7. The left shifter controls the three chain rings on your front derailleur, which drastically changes how easy or hard it is to pedal. Meanwhile, the right shifter controls the cluster of chain rings on your rear derailleur, allowing for slight adjustments to your ride. Step 2. Using the right gear combination Let's understand how the gear shifters work. There are two triggers on the gear shifter. The index finger lever on the top and the thumb lever at the bottom. On the left gear shifter, which controls the front gears, the index finger trigger lowers the gear from 3 to 1 and the thumb trigger increases the gear from 1 to 3. On the right gear shifter, which controls the back gears, the index finger trigger raises the gear from 1 to 7 and the thumb trigger lowers the gear from 7 to 1. When going uphill or against the wind, opt for lower gears, combining gear 1 on the left side with gears 1 to 3 on the right. This combination allows you to pedal easier and at a faster rhythm, but with less distance travelled per pedal revolution. We recommend sticking with the middle gear, gear 2 on your left side shifter for everyday regular road riding. Combine it with gears 3, 4 and 5 on your right to find the perfect pedaling pressure and speed. These gear combinations overlap some of the higher and some of the lower gear combinations. And you can smoothly go up or down as you change riding terrain. While riding downhill or with the wind, switch to a higher gear combination. Gear 3 on the left side, combined with gears 5, 6 or 7 on the right. This combination lets you pedal harder and at a slower rhythm but with more distance travelled per pedal revolution. Step 3. Shift correctly, early and often. Proper gear shifting is essential for maintaining the life of your gearing components. Avoid cross-chaining, a situation where the chain is diagonally aligned between the front and rear gears, which can cause undue stress on your drivetrain. Cross-chaining typically occurs when you use the big chain ring with the largest rear cog or the small chain ring with the smallest rear cog. So, always use the suggested gear combinations in step 1. When shifting, ensure that the shifter is pressed to its full limit and leave at least two pedal rotations between gear changes. This gives the chain enough time to climb up or down to the next chain. Pro Tips 1. Reverse pedaling Though tempting at times, can harm your bike and compromise your ride. Every gear has a specific design to engage smoothly in one direction. When you reverse pedal, you risk misaligning the gears. 2. Shifting gears while actively pedaling allows the chain to move smoothly from one gear to another. Changing gears while stationary can cause abrupt shifts. 3. The front chain rings typically have larger gear ratios compared to the rear cassette. Starting with the left shifter allows you to make bigger adjustments to your overall gear ratio, setting the foundation for subsequent fine-tuning with the right shifter. By first selecting an appropriate front gear based on the terrain, you reduce the stress on your chain and rear derailleur. Congratulations! You have mastered the art of proper gear combination uses for cycling. By knowing your numbers, using the right gears for different terrains and shifting correctly, you're well on your way to a smoother and more efficient ride.